But anyways, Dave, we're moving on now to Kyrie Irving and talks of him being a possible <laughs> MVP. 16 straight wins, wins for the Celtics. They start the season 0-2, now 16 straight wins, and you look at Kyrie, obviously, the big name acquisition um, for the Celtics in the offseason. There was always talk about Gordon Hayward going to the Celtics, yeah. but Kyrie going out trading for him was absolutely huge for Danny Ainge and the Boston Celtics, a trade that we both loved. Mm -hmm. And looking at Kyrie so far, he just popped off for 47 points against Dallas. He had a 48 straight points without a miss, dating back from that Hawks <laughs> game into that Dallas game. He's been absolutely on fire. Best team right now in the Eastern Conference, best team in the league. They just got to win over the Warriors. Do you think Kyrie Irving can be the MVP this year? I think he's put his name firmly in that conversation. I don't know if he can be. Like, obviously this team, this is unsustainable. Like, in mm -hmm. my mind, there's just no way that he can keep up with the pace that he's at. Or the Cav I mean, right now he's only at 22.5 points per game. At least statistically, yeah. It's statistically, not, he, I, he can probably su su you know exceed what he's currently doing. Yeah. But at least the Celtics. it's the Celtics as a whole, and I think that's what does. It's the if the Celtics are a team that gets up to 60, 65 wins, mm -hmm. I think that enormously helps his case for MVP. I think their success is the bonus factor for what Kyrie could do because you're right. Statistically, this season he's down from where he was last year. He's playing. Uh, I I don't want to say worse, but he he's not playing as well from a stat line basis. And you know MVP is a lot. I mean, last it's, year I mean, it was literally won by a stat line. Yeah. The triple-double won It was, won it was who's going to have the better stat line. It's yep. going to be James Harden or Russell Westbrook. And not, obviously, yeah. Russ averaging triple-double. That got him the win. Absolutely. And, and he dragged his team kicking and screaming to the playoffs mm -hmm. without talent. So that's the other thing. And this year, again, we see the very, very top of the MVP race. It looks like James Harden again. So you have a guy who we've seen Chris Paul obviously working his way back in. So his stat line we expected to drop a little. Hasn't yet, but it might, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think Kyrie, honestly, he needs his team. He needs to help his team be successful to win MVP. If he can put up 25 and, like, I don't even know, 25, 6, and 6, like, yeah, that could be an MVP this year. But the, the problem is there's so many unique talents in the NBA. Like, it's team success is what's going to take his case over the top. And looking at team success, obviously they are just absolutely succeeding off the page right now with 16 <laughs> straight wins, but also defensively. Yeah. As a whole, Marcus Smart, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Kyrie Irving himself, Al Horford have all been yeah. absolutely fantastic. You look at defensive win shares, it's like six of six of the top 20 are all Boston <laughs> Celtics. I mean, they are just absolutely dominating on that side. They held the Warriors to under 90 points. It was absolutely ridiculous yeah. what they're doing. I don't think Kyrie has a chance to win MVP. I know right now he is the best he's a player. Hot name. He's a hot name, just scored 47. I don't think he has a chance, though, and it's not because of anything that he's doing, but you look at Boston, that's a team right now that's winning. It's True. not They're not winning because of a player. They're getting contributions from Al Horford, who's having a fantastic season right now. Yeah. They are getting great contributions. We just talked about, we just talked about him last week. Jalen Brown has been playing off the page. Mm -hmm. Jason Tatum has been fantastic oh, yeah. as a rookie, and we're going to talk about him in the OT edition. Probably a top three rookie this year, and you look at every other player that's been able to step up, Terry Rozier, Marcus Smart, these guys are having fantastic seasons. Mm -hmm. I think it's just going to be so tough when when you know people look at Kyrie, they won't have he won't have that sexy stat line. But then I also think people will realize Brad Stevens by far is coach of the year, and <laughs> Kyrie Irving's having a great year. But I don't think it's and and it's all about this Boston mentality. That's not yeah. about one player. It's about the team, and, and I think that it's going to go more towards team success, and they're going to credit to every single player. And if they can give MVP to a whole team, Boston <laughs> might win it. But Kyrie, I don't think, will do enough in the end to get that ranking and get that you know honor of MVP. And it's not because I think his stat line's going to dip or anything. I think he can easily sustain 22 points per game and, and at the efficiency he's doing, he's shooting for like 46% right now. <laughs> Kyrie can easily do that. Yeah. But I just think that ultimately Boston will not do enough to at least wow them, uh, at least when it comes to the standings. I think the Cavs are, are going to be able to bounce back. I think the Warriors are obviously going to have a fantastic season. And then you're going to see a guy like James Harden obviously carry his team, or, or Russell Westbrook. Or you know, Giannis, we talked about one. him earlier. Giannis as well. Giannis yeah. is obviously not hot right now, so yeah. it's something that, you know, he's not averaging what... Well, that's the early, early, on, early on the season was like the Anthony Davis thing last oh year, where he was averaging like 40, 15, <laughs> and 7 blocks. I mean, yeah. obviously Giannis is taking a step back, but Giannis... Well, they've also added in, you know, Eric Bledsoe, and mm -hmm. they changed the dynamic of how that team works as well. And Giannis obviously can, you know, always bounce back as well. Yeah. So, I mean, we look at all these players, Kawhi Leonard could also, you know, maybe Kawhi just starts taking yeah, the Spurs on a run and, comes back. And, and has a great year. So, so I just think there's too much against Kyrie, and especially just with the way Boston is, I don't think he's, they're, he's able to get that name, you know, put into. Well, it's funny because a couple of weeks ago we were talking about, you know, the you know, 
Isaiah Thomas lists Celtics success and was Kyrie to credit, and we we unanimously decided no, it was Al Horford. It was the other guys stepping up. Yes, mm-hmm. Kyrie was playing well, but he wasn't leading the team as well. He wasn't as critical to the team as Al Horford stepping up and being a leader of that team. So it's kind of funny that you know two weeks later we're here talking about Kyrie Irving because he's played so extremely well as of yeah. late. Being in the case for MVP, it's it's kind of funny that we've kind of made that transition, but. I, I'm with you. I think that there's just it's an outside shot, but you're right. It's entirely based off of will he continue to grow as like a stat line because that's 90 percent of what they're looking well, for. And you also look at you know what people do off the ball, without the ball, on the other end defensively. Yeah. Al Horford's been a monster this year. I mean, he, he, shutting down the opponent's big, he's been one of the best in the NBA. Obviously, we talked last year a ton about his inability to rebound, but <laughs> yeah. again, as a team. Rebounding, they've been absolutely fantastic. So I think just with the Boston Celtics, again, it's not about any one specific player. It's going to be about the whole team. And Kyrie's going to put up the most points probably. Al Horford, though, might mean more to this team. And Mm -hmm. if we're talking about most valuable players, that's the one thing is I think that, you know, Al Horford might possibly get that (laughs) honor over Kyrie even when it comes to a team basis. So I I think Kyrie, again, he's red hot so far. And if he takes another step, yeah. where he's averaging 27, something like Isaiah Thomas was doing last year. And this right. is a team that, again, like you said, gets 65 wins. I think he could definitely become MVP. But now going away from Kyrie, who do you think can possibly be winning this MVP? Who's your, you know, at least right, leading? Right now the runaway your, favorite is still uh, it's still James Harden in my mind. Like he is, he's doing all and he's making it look easy, which mm-hmm. is what kills me because I thought the rule change for his bullshit fouls last year uh, would have changed his game, would have maybe made him take a step back. Nah. He's just, he's out there playing and looks like carefree half the time. It's insane. And this is a team that added Chris Paul. I was like, oh, well, they're going to split duties. But because of his injury, we've seen James Harden continue to roll forward, be extremely efficient, kill it from the free throw line on a nightly basis. And just there's not a damn thing he doesn't do well except for, you know, play defense all the time. And one thing, this is a stat from ESPN, just going back to Kyrie. Yeah. He is probably the clutchest player in the NBA right now, shooting 61.5% uh, in the clutch situations when the scoring differential is five points or less in the final five minutes. So Kyrie has been clutch, and that's obviously going to play into MVP voting. But I think I'd agree with you. James Harden right now has just been absolutely fantastic. He's been loading up the stat line. I think, yeah. again, when you look at it, it's probably going to be the stat line that wins it. And, and you know, before we've seen it, where Statland hasn't won it. We've seen, you know, Kobe put up around like 35 and be beat out by Steve Nash. <laughs> Same with Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq's been beaten out by Steve Nash, who probably had a better stat line. I just feel ultimately it's probably going to be a guy that not only makes the playoff with his team, it's going to be very similar to the Russ situation. Now they makes the playoffs with his team, but like a Giannis who's averaging 29, 10, and 4, or a James Harden who's averaging over 30 and ridiculous numbers as well. Yeah. I think it's 39, be a guy. 5, yeah. yeah. 39, 5. I think that's probably going to be the guy who ends up taking it. But let us know who you think is going to win the MVP. Down in the comments below, do you think it's going to be Kyrie Irving? We know you Boston Celtics fans. <laughs> have flocked to this video and called this morons already. We love you so much. Yeah, but we do. Let us know in the comments down below who you think is going to win the MVP.